Martin. Now, where is Doc Martin at the moment? Doc Martin is it France, is it? I think they, 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 they make a German one. There's a Spanish one, they've overtaken us. They've done all our episodes and they're writing their own now. What's the Spanish one called? Uh, Doc Martin. Doc Mateo. <laughs> is it? The German one was really funny. It was Dr. Martin. <laughs> and they filmed it in a rather unattractive little industrial harbour. And they bought our music and our scripts and just translated them and almost made it shot for shot, but just yeah. put EN on the end of all the words. <laughs> <laughs> Come and I found that. I found our sketch was made for Germany and they did the same thing. So if you accidentally scratch your nose in a sketch, yeah. they, they accidentally scratch their nose in the sketch because they think it just might be the joke. <laughs> People are laughing, so they're not taking any chances. <laughs> 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 wasn't this supposed to be a very good version of 40 Towers in Germany? Yeah, they did. They made one version of a pilot show in German, and they were superb. I mean, the, the actors were absolutely right. superb. <laughs> and I was very encouraged. I sat there, and I speak just enough German to be able to follow it from the script. And I was knocked out. And I thought, this did is you terrific. The and then they... That's the, <laughs> but that's the first one they showed me. The Germans have. Well, did, they have really? to, did they have to change the line, you started it, you invaded Poland, so no, no, we no. started it, we invaded Poland? They think it's very, very funny. What, and invading the, Poland? Well, the, whole point, <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole point of that, when I made it, was how the English were stuck yeah. in, the, in that whole Second World War thing and couldn't move on. That was the joke. People thought I was making Lexus. jokes about the Germans. I wasn't at all. And there was no one on the screen who was remotely more than two years old when all that stuff was happening in the Second World War. So I, I was very impressed once because I was in, a, in the Atlantic Hotel in, in, in Hamburg and I was talking to the concierge, a very nice guy, and suddenly there was a shout from, Hey, John! And I turned around, there's this big, jolly German businessman standing the other side of the lobby. And he made a lot of noise, there were a lot of people watching, and he said, Hey, John, don't mention of all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Forty Germans fell about laughing. <laughs> and I thought, isn't that great? Now we can get on with our lives, you know? There's a bug in your drink. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This a fly know, in his drink. Can I just say, this oh, happens so often. Horrible. Now, this will be delicious, John. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah! it's alive! It's alive! It's a miracle! It's, it's only wine. It's a fly! Oh! No. <laughs> Is the there wine... anything you won't eat? <laughs> you <know>? <laughs> <laughs> Celery. <laughs> Celery. <laughs> Celery. <laughs> the wine marinade makes it, isn't it? It's it's delicious. Right. It was alive. It's lovely. Mm. Did that really go in? Huh? No, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a bloke. It's a piss. Oh. It's really pissed. No, it's just a poo here. No. It's masturbating. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is it masturbating? No. <laughs> it's not playing the violin, John. <laughs> <laughs> there, he's finished. Go on. <laughs> Listen, before we say goodnight, uh, we've just time for a few stories in the collapsing red chair. Uh, you, uh, you've heard the celebrities, now you, the viewers, get to tell us your most interesting anecdotes in the world. <laughs> if we get bored, we pull a lever. All right, so, uh, so quick, I'll just get myself organised. Uh, who's up first? Hi, I'm Kerry. Oh, hello, Kerry. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. And uh, where are you from, Kerry? I'm from Stoke Newington. You're lying, aren't you? Uh, yes, I'm from Middlesbrough. <laughs> <laughs> Good, no, there was such a funny pause. I'm from... Uh, you can if you want to. Oh, let me start. Let her, OK, OK, this is it. Best story in the world. Best story okay. in the world. I'm not sure if you're wearing a bra for this collapsing chair, but... Uh... <laughs> OK. Are they saggy? <laughs> no, no, they just, they, you know, they look like they're going to have some fun on the way over. That's all. <laughs> 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 So my story is, um, I used to do a lot of internet dating where I would um, sometimes um, see uh, two or three guys um, a week and when I would meet them, I would always take them to this... <laughs> I'd always take them to this one particular bar which was around the corner from the tube station because I thought, it's safe. Um, and after like, the 20th or 30th date I'd taken in there, the <laughs> manager came over to me with my date and told me that I had to leave because he thought I was a prostitute. <laughs> Outside, I said to the guy, um, should we go somewhere else? He said, no, thanks, love, and he left me. Oh. <laughs> and he didn't even pay you. He didn't even pay <laughs> <laughs> I love this 
that. You, you can see why they thought that. <laughs> uh, uh, OK, who's up next? Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Regan. Regan? Yep. Graham and Regan. That's Regan. <laughs> you know, John, he seems playful to me. <laughs> Speak. No, uh, <laughs> sorry, Regan. I've taken a very long time. No, so your fabulous story. Off you go. Um, I once shared a toilet with David Beckham. Um, I was actually living in Hong Kong at the time. I was living in Hong Kong. We went out with a few friends. We found this really great bar that had um, paparazzi outside. And we we're like, that must be good. So we went inside, got our photo taken on the way down, got inside. There was no one in there, and we were like, this is weird. And then we sat down, had a drink, and then walked Real Madrid. And we were like, oh, that's amazing. And so everyone was just sort of in awe. And then I had to go to the toilet. So I went to the toilet, <laughs> and um, the security guard came in and said, get out of the it's toilet. About David Beckham was. <laughs> Why I'm single. Uh, <laughs> do we have time for one more? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Hiya. 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 What's your name? Helen. Helen. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, Helen, uh, <laughs> delight us with your story. Um, I've actually got a travel story. A tra okay, might be interesting with volcanic ash. <laughs> where were you? Where were you? Uh, in Bulgaria, backpacking. <laughs> 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 I really want to have one That's brilliant, isn't it? I know, I'd love to have one in my house. Wouldn't it be great to have one in your house and chatting to someone and just go... Dinner, <laughs> <laughs> you just kill them! <laughs> someone was probably just getting into it. Right? <laughs> Very good. Well done, everyone, right there. And if you'd like to join us on the show... You know what? Go in the red chair. You can contact us via our website at that address. Huge thank you to all my guests: John Gleese, <laughs> Mike Blues, Lee Mack, Jane Turner. <laughs> Join me same time next week with my guests will include comedian Alan Davis and international superstar Jennifer Lopez. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. <laughs>And Graham's back next week at the slightly earlier time of 10.35. And there's more music tomorrow here on BBC HD with Later Live with Jules Holland at 10. Next tonight, though, it's The Doctor.